so, so anyway, we've learned that Yuri really likes Lord of the Rings and stuff like that. A little of creativity and craftsmanship behind it was amazing to me. Telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly really passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her company in the world of books, not people. So, so yeah, I probably should have expected this since this is a visual novel, but this game has a lot of text. I'm just gonna put it that way. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Honestly, it is. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Uh, I read a, a horror book once. I just really grasped something I can relate to at the minimal level. This right here might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Maybe she is. Maybe, maybe she is, and you just didn't realize it. <laughs> really, I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. Hey, what are you doing? Butting into the conversation. For someone as gentle as you, I guess you could say that. But if the story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Real horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. I hate horror. And, and of course, the, and of course, the party pooper just hap has to come in here right at the wrong moment. Oh, why's that? Well, I just Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. She, she said she she's retracting on just because I said that I read a horror book once. Maybe I don't know. That's right. You're starting to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? But what? What gives you that idea? I read, I read your, fa I read your fan fiction account. I saw, I saw those fifty My Little Pony fanfics. You left a piece of scrap paper behind the last club meeting. Oh, it's so much more mundane than what I was saying. It looked like you were working on a poem called "Don't Say Out Loud." I'd give that back. Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems. Everything you do is just as cute as you are. So you already slides up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Oh, you won't. Uh, no matter how much you say it, people will still say you are indeed cute. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Uh, eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? Because I care about you. I wanna be with you forever. <clears throat> I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No! Atsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. Just be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Oh, that's, a, that's, a, oh, that's, actually, that's actually kind of deep. Maybe, I don't know. You have writing experience too, Yuri? Probably. Maybe you can share some of your work. You can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Aw, oh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. He's all sitting. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically <laughs> at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Uh, um... Yeah, let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of our cl the club. Isn't that right, John? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. What's that? Now we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I've bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. But you have to, otherwise the game can't continue. So you already may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um, here's my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. Like, you can't reject any of them. You can't reject any of them. No, no, I, I, I even... You can't reject any of them, no matter how small their mouths are. Seriously, that's the one... That's the thing I can't but stop focusing on with all this art style, just how small their mouths are. But... I'm sorry, I thought... Hmm. John... Y you all... I I'm defenseless against these girls. And 
and they all ran, and then they all got around me and beat the crap out of me. And when I woke up, I was tied up in a chair, and they forced me to read Lord of the Rings. The end. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. They're just like from one of my. They look like they're from one of my Japanese animes. Yeah, this game. I should name my character like Omicron or something like that, so then I could make all the Japanese anime jokes I wanted to. But I'm still making them anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Like a Christmas tree. Yes, I'm so happy! So Yori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey, hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I'd be super pissed. Then that, that makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club. Ah, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember today's assignment. Tonight's assignment, I mean. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. God, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? Now with that attitude, I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Johnson, we're already here. Do you want to walk home together? That's right. Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! Anyway, here we... Anyway, we're finally back to this one. Without <laughs> that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. You know, from what I've seen of... Like, I haven't really done much with visual novels, but from the little that I've seen so mean, like... Usually don't, usually don't they, don't they have a significant thing going on with the, make, you making decisions and stuff? Because so far, oh, there's been a few circumstances where they could have you make a decision, but I haven't gotten to make one at all. I guess this is just to try to introduce me and stuff before they have me make any decisions. The whole way my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Which one I'm going to get into bed with first. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that. It's like Yori, Hatsuki. Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be, will I be, really be happy spending every day after school in the literature club? Oh, well, you'll learn to be. Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Maybe it does. Time to write a poem. Pick what you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Alright. Em embra embrace determination. I'm trying to find out which ones the which ones everyone would actually like here. I wish I could figure, figure out, like, which one, uh, uh, so which, which ones, which characters actually like. Like, I, 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 like, like, you know Yuri likes horror, but uh, other than that, no, I really don't know. And Yuri also likes fantasy stuff, but what is Sayori? What is, what is the hell of Sayori like? I have no idea. Or, or, uh, anime. Scars, what the hell? Suicide? No, that oh that gets her, okay. Grief, okay. Oh, I already know horrors. Oh, oh she likes disaster as well. Huh. So, so, so yeah, I'm probably gonna end up uh, she's gonna be the one that actually likes my poem the most, probably. Secret of Dark. Lucky. Oh, they actually got one. We're from her. Strawberry. You know what I'm gonna think? Why was if I tried to make sure all of them like it or something? That'd be funny if I actually gave out a decent, a different thing to happen here. Intellectual. Ag agonized. Kawaii. One un wonderful. 
default broken. Oops, I didn't even mean to need to pick that one. I picked that one by accident. Uncontrollable romance. Okay. So yeah, that ought to work, I guess. Give me a sec.